Hey guys, it's me, my face, and everything. Today's little happy dance is brought to us by coffee in the Snoopy mug. It's okay to be jealous. I wouldn't blame you a bit. Snoopy was one of my first um, pieces of Halloween haul this year. Won't be my last. Um, I got him at, I think it's at home, or smart home, home sense, home. It's TJ Maxx and home goods and the other, they're all the same, but I found, found him. And then I went back and I got another one and I sent it to my friend because he's that cute. I should have gotten more. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and this is a channel about cross stitching and any other darn thing I feel like talking about. If you are a returning visitor, welcome back. I'm a little all over the place. Um, I have not been up to filming in a while. I have kind of gone back and forth between not stitching anything at all and then sitting down for five hours in a night. So I, I have some things to show you. They're a little scattered, as am I. I think we should just jump in with the stitching and I will figure out the order to go in as I go. The first thing I worked on is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. This is from Carriage House Sampling and I did not a lot that you can tell. I have filled in more of our little friend, the mummy. Um, it's a crew. The fabric is pretty much a crew. All I did was fill in. Um, soon, I'm going to have to move the Q-snap and, uh, and make some room. So hopefully I'll be able to expand because I'm a little tired of stitching with the A crew. So I think moving the Q-snap will give me more to work on. So I'll want to work on it. It's my running theory. The next thing I worked on is Moonwatch. This is by somebody whose name I keep forgetting to look up. Um, it's in a magazine. All the information should be over there. Uh, all the stitching is done on it. It's the back stitching that I have been working on. And so I f believe I finished going around the outside and doing the little stars and then I started to work on these little like branches and roots and things and I'm gonna tell you there's absolutely no reason for me to follow the pattern while doing these and yet I am and I'm picking things out and they're just making me a little bit crazy so I think the other half um, when I go over here to kind of finish this off I'm gonna be a little more um, haphazard when it comes to where these go because I like this. It's adorable. I may even do its little companion piece, but I would like to be done with it. Move on to something else. The next thing I worked on is Happy Haunting. This is from Plum Street Samplers. It is a freebie on their site. And if you had asked me, I would have told you that I already finished this, but apparently I did not. Look at the bunnies. Look at that. How cute are these? I started this on my little mini vacation to the beach and I really thought I had finished it, but I guess I didn't finish the wording. Um, but it's coming out so cute. And I love, like, I don't love white Ada at all. But I think this is 22 count and so it's small enough that one strand gives me really good coverage and it just looks so small and cute and I too can't wait for this to be finished because uh, it's nice while it lasts and now I want to be done with it. There are other bunny patterns that I want to start. The next thing I worked on is actually a finish. This is God Bless Us Everyone from The Primitive Needle. And I finally finished it. I did it. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. 
I sat down and I literally just forced myself to finish it. I forced myself to finish it and finish it. I did. I didn't even cut out. I was like, well, maybe I won't do that bottom band. Nope. Nope. I did it. Wait a minute. Nope. I did. I did finish it. It just, I couldn't see that last dark band. So it is done. And I am actually happy I did it because he is strange and creepy and everything that, you know, I want in a Christmas piece. Um, so hopefully I will get a nice little frame or something for it and be able to display it this Christmas. The next thing I worked on is Bent Flower Farmhouse. This is from Teresa Miller. And Teresa Miller has turned into one of those people that I almost constantly have something of hers going. It really, her patterns translate really well into this little one over one, just very teeny, look at, look at this red house. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It is taking a lifetime to do that red house, but it's going to look so good. Um, this red is, I think, Weeks Dye Works Campfire. Maybe classic. It's, I'm correcting myself somewhere. Um, if I had to do it again, I would do it in Cherry Cobbler. Because Cherry Cobbler is the best red. It really, really is. But this looks nice too. This is nice. Um, I don't know when I will finish it. It is or it has been at least just kind of a, when I don't want to go to sleep and I don't want to stitch anything that I have to think about and I just sort of want to use up some time in my life, this is what I've been working on because I don't have to think about it. I don't even have to pull out the pattern. I just stitch blindly until I, you know, lose consciousness. It's fine. Everyone's fine. And the last thing that I worked on is a new start that's actually a segue into my haul. Because remember when I said that I was bidding on a primitive needle? I got it. I got Halloween. It's cute. Is it like the best primitive needle pattern ever? No. No, it is not. It's very simple. It's fine. I did not overpay for it, so that's fine. Um, I actually, I think I got a good price for it because it has a little water damage that has absolutely no bearing on the pattern whatsoever. It's fine. Um, so this is what it will be. And actually you'll be seeing that on the side. And I have a very good start on really terrible fabric. Um, but I think it'll be fine because I really don't think, I think this may have started out 20, 22 count data anyway. So it really didn't shrink. Um, things don't look too out of place. Andrea, hold it still. I go crazy when people hold things up and they're like, it makes me nuts. So I would, I try not to do that. So that is my start. And this was coffee dyed and baked by myself and you can tell that because it's terrible but it's mine and I like it um, and it smells like coffee but I actually have swapped out the black is it what is it here instead of weeks dye work charcoal I am using some black silks for you silk that I've had a hank of since I started this channel 8,000 years ago when I was still young and had spirit, um, I'm still trying to use it up. So I thought this would be a great project for that. Bidding on that made me forget how much I used to really enjoy eBay and I would sell on eBay and buy on eBay and I would snipe. And I don't know how you feel about sniping. And if you don't know what sniping is, it's bidding at the last possible second and just snatching that, uh, you know, that prize away from somebody. It was exhilarating. It was really, it's mean. I mean, it's not mean. It's a 
it's an auction, but it was fun. I liked it. I'm not apologizing. It's this or go to bars. Which would you rather? Snoopy soothe me. Could you just fall over it how cute he is? Look at him. Look at him. So now that we've careened right into Hall, um, I do have a few things that I have accumulated since, uh, since we last talked. I was looking for hoops to use for like finishes. And I've bought the ones before that are kind of squared off. And I haven't used those for finishing yet, but I have used them for stitching and I like those. I like, I don't know what it is about having that square area or that rectangular area that makes it easier for me to stitch, but it does. Um, but I bought a few of, about a few different sizes of these. They're kind of like a rubbery plastic, like if you kind of saw them or touched them, you'd be like, ew. Um, but I figured with kind of the wood outside, they would look a little finished if I used them for, you know, finishing. Um, so I did a quick experiment and it's actually, you know, you have to ignore the corners because naturally I didn't, you know, do it right, Andrea. But I mean, that's not bad. I mean, not bad. Would it look better in a nice professional frame? Maybe. Was this easy to get in here? No, no, it was not. And maybe it's because I have arthritis in my hands and maybe it's because it's just me, but this was not easy. This was frustrating. There was anger. Words were said. But I have three more and stuff's getting finished in these. Stuff's getting finished in those. I've also received two of my Floss of the Month clubs. This is the Floss Frenzy from Fat Quarter Shop. Floss Frenzy Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, I get Weeks Dye Works from them. And this month was Mellow Yellow. Okay, that's the August club, so I should be getting September soon. This is beige beige why are we hand dyeing beige when a crew exists beige we've got sandcastle putty sage okay i almost said schenectady this is Schneckley and Bee's Knees. And I got to tell you, at first look, I was like, this is the most boring group of anythings ever. And yet these are fantastic neutrals. Don't argue, Andrea. Smarter people than you put these things together. Just roll. Just roll with it. The other set of threads I received is my nest egg from Three Owl Threads, um, Trisha over at Three Owl. And I got, these are gentle arts, I got Apricot Blush, Green with Envy, oh, oh, Orange Marmalade, that's a fun one. Pecan pie, pecan pie, I don't care, just eat it. Pineapple sherbet, it's white. Pomegranate, not nearly that bright. Pumpkin pie, yes thank you. Ragdoll, Raspberry Frost, and Red Grape. Um, the Floss Frenzy usually send, sends in color groups. This goes 
alphabetically, although with a lot of the shortages and shipping problems that people have had, they, they're, she's kind of backfilling and filling in things that got skipped. So they're a little all over the place right now, but still a nice set. I got happy, sad, crying, jumping up and down, happy mail. It's two happies because it's very happy. Um, I may have mentioned occasionally that I have a stitchy godmother. Her name is Laura. She made me a pillow. You can see it there. She also insists on sending me large quantities of things out of the blue for no good reason. She seems to like me. I cannot figure out why. Don't mess with it. So she has been working on this pattern for quite some time. I have been watching her progress on Instagram. And this is a pattern by Sarah Garamani. Garamani, I will put it up because I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. And I also have a Sarah Germani, um pattern called, you may remember, Wicked Christmas. Remember Wicked Christmas? How excited I was about that. That was the thing. But watching her work on this made me want to pull that project back out. And in fact, I did. And I put it on scroll rods and it's over there. And it's been over there for three months. It's a long story. As you know, the last few months have been difficult. So one night she sends me an Instagram message and she says, what were your dad's initials? I want to put it on a little tombstone. I thought, oh my God, that's so sweet. So I told her his uh, initials. And then she said, thanks. Because you know I'm sending this to you. You guys. I'm going to do the Michelle... Um, display method here. Do you see this? Do you see every little thing in this? First of all, let's just, let's just talk about a level of stitching so far superior to what I am doing right now that I just look at it. It looks like a coloring book. Look how nice that looks. It's like, I want to get the whole thing in, and I also want to show you close up, and I don't know how to do both of those things, so we'll just, uh, we'll just keep doing this. I'm going to get a crick in my neck, but look at this. She sent me this. This is mine now. I own this. I cannot tell you how much I adore this. And I cannot tell you how much I adore. I can do this. I can do this. For my dad. And I brought this over. I brought this last night and I showed my sister and she just thinks it's wonderful as well. But I am just, I cannot thank you enough, Laura. You are just my sweetest friend. Thank you. She didn't just send me this though, because Laura has to go overboard because that's who she is. So not only was that in there, look at this guy. <laughs> look at how grumpy he is. <laughs> I love him so much. And look at the sparkly moon. Can you see it sparkle? Now, I just thought this was a cute little pattern that she had sent to me. Until I opened, like, the rest of the package. And I see... This is the 2021 Halloween edition. And there's our grumpy cat. But it's a different pattern. So it looks like she did the grumpy cat and then found other things and put them in... Look at this. No, you're not done looking at it yet. Look at it. Oh my God. I think this is going to go in one of those hoops. That could be pretty cute. 
I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. I'll burn that bridge while I'm on it. I now have the ornament edition. And I said, oh, that's really cute. Maybe I'll find a couple of things in here and then I will give the magazine away. Well, you're not getting it this year because I found like seven things. Do I need seven things to stitch? Yes. Yes, I do. She sent me the Halloween pattern to go with the... Th I now have the pattern. There's something in here. Okay, well, first of all, she also included... Oh, my God. What's happening here? The cutest little needle minder. For Never trust the living. Laura, can you tell us where we got this? So that I can tell the nice people? Because wicked cute. There's something in here. Okay, now she's just messing with me. Oh my goodness, there's beads. Are there supposed to be beads on here? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I don't even know how I'm functioning. Apparently, there's a little kitty, a little ghost, and a little bat button. Oh, and what appears to be maybe a spider? I'll put the buttons on the pen and the I'm all done. I'm all set. I'm all set. She also sent me the sweetest little card. Look at this little guy. You put a black cat on something, I'll follow you anywhere. I really will. I just am that much of a sucker. But that is adorable. It's my my first Halloween card this year. Laura has beaten everyone. Game's over, kids. We can all go home. Laura wins. Laura, thank you for being my sweetest and most patient friend. Thank you. So that is about all I have to show you. Um, otherwise, I have been working. I have been trying to clean out my father's house still. It is amazing the amount of stuff that we accumulate and that, that we allow to build up around us. Um, we had a wonderful wedding this past weekend. My nephew got married to uh, his absolutely stunning bride. It was a wonderful time. It was a four-day extravaganza, and I wasn't even involved. I was just a, I was just a bystander. Other people were like working for four days at this wedding. Um, but we had a, a Friday night um, rehearsal dinner. We had a Saturday wedding. We had, um, we had a Saturday, Sunday after party. We had a Sunday brunch. We had a Monday night going away party for one of my other nephews who had come in for the, the wedding. I am exhausted and I didn't do anything. I just showed up and ate mostly. I mostly just ate. Um, specifically, a year ago, I went on Weight Watchers so that I could be comfortable and happy at this wedding. And I was. I was. I wore a dress that I bought in a normal store. I was not crammed into that dress. It was comfortable. Um, I ate. I didn't concern myself with what I was eating, but I didn't eat like a crazy person. It was, you know, pretty good balance. And they were actually really smart the way they did the wedding food where it came out in little bits throughout the night. Like you had your salad and you had your dinner, but then rather than I, um, like rather than a cake, a couple of hours in, they had this big ice cream bar. So we had ice cream. And then like an hour or two after that, there was uh, sliders and French fries. And oh my God, that was just what I needed. Um, so it was just it was just great all along. I'm going to continue on Weight Watchers. It's done very well for me in the past, not even a year, really. I think I've probably like nine months that I've really been doing it. So hopefully, maybe by this time next year, I will be down another uh, chunk of me. Ew, 
gross. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Emotionally, right now, I am in about 17 different pieces. I am... I'm upright, which is good. Um, there's a lot that I have to do and don't really have a lot of choice about. So even if I want to, you know, even if my, my depression is saying, why don't we just curl up and have a nap? I can't. I just don't have the luxury of doing that, which in some ways is good because then I don't do that because depression sleep is not good sleep. It's not comfy sleep and you don't wake up feeling better. You just wake up feeling awful, to use a technical term, awful. So I am hanging in there. So this actually moved much faster than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to be here blabbering for an hour and no one was going to want to see that, least of all me. Um, but like I said last time, I, I can't guarantee when I will be up to making another video, but I guarantee you there will be a next one at some point. Um, hopefully at least before, let's say before October or, you know, in early October so that I can show maybe my Halloween decorations or something like that. We'll see how it goes. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes and even your dislikes. But mostly thank you for your comments. I read every single one of them and even though I can't always respond, I appreciate them so much. Thank you for being my community. Bye guys.